I'm going to show you today my version of Bacolod's Piaya. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients. For the water dough, 2 cups bread flour or all-purpose flour, 1 fourth cup shortening, 3 fourths cup water. For the oil dough, 1 cup cake flour, 1 half cup shortening. For the filling, 200 grams of Moscovado sugar, 3 tablespoons of oil, 1 and 1 fourth cups of cake flour, 2 to 3 tablespoons water. We will also try to make piaya with uh, ube filling later. Let's make the water dough first. So you have flour and then you have shortening. For the piaya, you need shortening. Don't choose butter. It will, not, it will taste different, okay? You can use a pastry blender, but I like to work with my hands because you can feel the dough. So what you do is, you do this. What I do is I rub the shortening between the palm of my hands until the particles are pea-sized. See, like this. You don't have big pieces anymore. Next, you add in water. Add in water gradually. Okay, you need enough water that the dough will bind. Okay. It's good to work with your hands because you can feel the dough. Yeah, I think I need all of this. Okay. Here. You mix this together. This is your water dough. Okay. You don't have to mix this until it's smooth. This is good. The oil dough, you need cake flour. If you're going to be in business, you can use third class flour or you need a soft flour. And then you have shortening. This one also you need shortening. Don't choose butter, don't choose margarine. The mixture will be like a paste. It's like an oil paste. Uh, this one, don't use your hands because it's a little bit messy. You just press it with your scra scraper or spatula or spoon until it resembles a paste. Water dough, oil dough, okay? So you get the water dough. If it sticks a little bit, you can just get flour. And then, here is the oil dough. Put it in the center and wrap it like this. You have the oil dough inside the water dough. Right? Let me get some flour. Let's dust the table or your mat with some flour. And then you press this slowly. Okay. Make sure that the oil dough stays inside. Roll this to about 13 by 9 or 12 by 8, a rectangular. And then what you do next, you fold it. Three, one, two. And then turn. Okay, so from here you turn and then we roll it out again. You dust it with flour only when necessary. If you don't need, if it does not stick, don't dust it. Okay, then we roll it back again to a 13 by 9 or 12 by 8. Okay, this is about 13 by 9, more or less. Okay, then we fold it again, three, three folds. Sorry. And then I will let this rest for 30 minutes. Well, we make the filling, okay? Cover this. We let the dough relax. For the filling, you put together flour and we use Moscovado sugar, okay? You can use it with brown sugar, but you know, Moscovado has a very different flavor because it has molasses. 
So there's, uh, it's very fragrant. After you mix your, by the way, make sure that your Moscovado sugar is free of those big lumps. Because when you have that, once you use this as a filling, when you roll it out, the uh, dough will tear because of the big uh, pieces of Moscovado sugar. Okay, so if you'll notice, there are no more big pieces here. I took them out. And then I have oil. For this portion, you can use shortening if you don't want to use oil. Same with the water dough and the oil dough. Do not use butter. Do not use margarine because otherwise it will not taste like pi. It will be good, but it will not taste like pi. Okay, so you mix the oil first to the flour and the sugar. All right, and then we're going to add water. Okay, add water gradually, or you might you might need more. The point is you need enough water just to bind the filling okay you don't want to make it so watery i prepared two tablespoons we probably need three okay okay i plan to make 15 pieces so what i need to do is i'm going to divide the filling into 15. the size of the piaya is up to you mine is about 25 grams dough okay here if you want to use ube, you can mix ube with a little flour, just a little flour, so that it won't be very sweet and so that also the filling will not ooze out. I will see if I can find some ube haleya and we will try to make a few with ube, okay? So this is how your filling will look like, see? Okay, so let's divide this into 15 because I plan to make 15 pieces. Okay. Uh, we will try to use this one. Okay, this is the DLA ube filling and topping. So this is how it looks like. Okay, if you want to use this, this is about one fourth cup. You add about two tablespoons of flour. Uh, let me just estimate. You just add enough flour that it will form like a paste so that it's easy for you to fill and it's not very sweet also. Okay? Like this. Okay, I added a little ube flavor and color. This is just to enhance. Okay. And then same, we weigh this and then we'll use this as filling. Okay. I have rested this for about uh, 20 minutes. So let's see if we can roll this out. The re resting period allows the dough to relax so it's easy for you to roll out it's more pliable okay when you roll always start from the center going up okay don't start here and go like that always from the center going out okay so here let me turn this over okay now let's roll this Okay, pinch the ends. And then we will divide this. Uh, I'm going to make about 15 or 16 portions. Two. Three. Here I have uh, 15 pieces. Okay. Remember, it's like this. After you cut, I put it like that. Okay. So you can see the spiral on top. Okay, roll this out gently and put the filling in sorry like this okay and then put the filling in and press them together to enclose the filling make sure you enclose them Okay, let's use the uh, make uh, ube. I have some sesame seeds here. By the way, this is brown because it's toasted. You don't have to toast the sesame seeds. I just had some toasted ones. 
and then here see you press it on both sides and then roll slowly roll this out it's normal that some of the filling will come out okay but try your best to keep it in okay see so let's make another one press down and press down. you know sesame seeds are uh, expensive so it's up to you don't you don't need to put a lot I like sesame seeds so I put a lot of sesame seeds okay Alright, you heat a uh, flat bottom pan. For home use, you can just use your um, regular blood, your regular nonstick pan, or your regular flat bottom pan. But if you're in business, you buy what they call a griller, like the one that you make pancakes, the one where you use it to make hamburgers. Right? Because this one can only take one piece at a time. But it will cook in like maybe two minutes. Turn it over and cook it on the other side. Alright, we'll check the other side. So this is done. Okay, so let's make the next one. Always clean your always clean the pan before you add the next one. Alright. 